everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life, and I'm here today with a design team post for Scrapping for Less. Today, I am going to be making a card from the Flavor of the Month card kit using collection number one, Love Big, with the big Benny the Bigfoot, the big Love Big paper by Scrapping for Less, the stamp set is by Scrapping for Less, you get some flowers by Jolie's, and chalk heart stickers by Sticko. So I am going to create a five and a half inch square card. The panel, the back panel, I cut down to five and a quarter inches. And that's gonna be almost an entire sheet of the pattern paper. And then I cut out three different pieces of the pattern paper with some oval dies and those ovals that I used for this card are how much? They are three inches by about two and a quarter inches wide. So that, that's the three um, larger ovals. I did end up using one for the sentiment which is about one and five eighths by about one and a quarter. And that was the one I used for the sentiment. Um, I do stamp it originally in on the white piece of cardstock and then I decided to use pattern paper and use the heat, or the, not the heat embossing, the embossing powder that was part of the banana split level um, by Stamp Pendus. I decided to use that on one of the pieces of pattern paper instead. Now for the pieces or for the other piece for this card, it is a quarter of an inch by the entire five and a half inches long. And those are all the pieces for this card. Now I do have to say I loved Crystal. Crystal's part of the Scrapping for Less design team and I loved her big foot, how it was colored and that she used one of the little flowers on the flower that he is holding in the picture and I ended up doing the same thing. I, I kind of cased her for from doing that because um, like I said I just I liked the colorings that and how she made the Bigfoot look so I'm just going to adhere that panel down and then I'm going to adhere that strip and then place the um, what are those the ovals that strip was a tiny bit too long so I just snipped off the edge of it I'm going to place the two ovals down there and adhere them to the card and then I am going to this is where I'm going to do the heat embossing for that sentiment the sentiment don't stop believing is what I used for this and I used the embossing powder from the flavor of the month card kit I got a really cool kind I know they are random but I got one that is has like it's white with pinks and yellows and different little colors in there. It's really kind of cool looking when it all comes together. Those are the colors that I used for the coloring of the Bigfoot. Like I said, I'm not sure to be honest of what colors that she used. I ended up using warm grays, but just the look of what she did is what I was casing from the card that she made with the Bigfoot on there. And I'm just going to color him up. Um, as far as the coloring for the all of his fur, I used the warm grays. And the lightest one that I have, I think, is W02. And just put that everywhere else. And then the rest of, most of the rest of it is kind of just shading. So it was pretty simple to color this. There wasn't, it wasn't time consuming, which... Copic coloring, at least for me, a lot of times coloring is half the battle with making cards and takes probably the most time out of anything else. Now, originally, as you can see there, I had it stamped on one of the ovals and I was going to use that, but then I didn't like that and I decided to cut him out and put him onto one of the ovals um, of pattern paper that I picked out. And then here I was just going over the edging with the black marker to kind of finish off that look. And then I'm just going to pop him right on there. Now I do pop up that center panel. 
with foam tape. The other one panels I just adhered down with a little bit of glue. And I tried to place it, you know, obviously so that it they kind of meet up in the center. And then that third one is going to go over on top of it. And that is going to pretty much be it for this card. Like I said, the rest of it is just kind of piecing, finish piecing everything together. Now this card design is actually from a sketch. It's from a sketch Saturday post. Um, I believe it was a couple of years ago, maybe 2016. And the design came from there. So that's where I got this design. But I really like this design. I've used it a couple times on cards over the years. Um, I like how everything kind of flows together with it. So like I said, I'm going to use some foam tape to pop that up. I'm going to adhere that down. I will add some sequins as part of the banana split level. You receive sequins by scrapping for less, and I'm going to use those on this card along with the flowers by Jolie's that come with the collection. And like I said, I do end up using one of the flowers on the Bigfoot himself to and cover up the flower that is stamped. I did end up coloring it, but then after I did it, I remembered how Crystal had done hers. And that's pretty much going to finish up this card. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Head over to Scrapping for Less. You can check out um, more inspiration, other kits, plus they have lots of stuff that you can purchase from the store um, for all your crafting needs. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying healthy. Take care, and everybody have a great day. Thanks for joining me.